Hey y'all, we're back with another one of our top eight videos. This time, we're covering the top eight cocktails that use Demerara. Demerara sugar lends a really unique flavor to cocktails. It's subtle as a sweetener, but it adds this sort of burnt sugar, caramelized flavor to it. It's really nice and adds a lot of round base flavors to cocktails of all varieties. Before we get started on our top eight Demerara cocktails, I think it'd be good to do a side-by-side -side comparison and there's no better way to do that than with the old fashioned. So I want you to try an old fashioned using Demerara sugar, whether it's our Demerara gum syrup, if you want that nice rich viscosity, or just a Demerara sugar, a raw Demerara sugar, and then make one with pure cane sugar or simple syrup. If you use the exact same ingredients and exact same ratios, you'll really be able to tell the difference between Demerara sugar versus the white table sugar that has a very clean sweetness. To make your Demerara old fashioned, start by pouring a quarter ounce of Demerara gum syrup into your mixing glass. Next, add two ounces of bourbon or rye, aromatic bitters, and add ice. Stir for about 20 seconds to dilute and chill. Strain your old fashioned into a rocks glass. Garnish with a brandy cherry and orange peel, expressed. Cheers. To kick off our list, we'll start with the flannel shirt cocktail. This cocktail comes to us from Jeffrey Morgan Thaler, a prominent Portland area bartender who wanted to take a mold warm cocktail that utilized apple cider and turn it into a cocktail that could be served cold, but still have all of those warming feelings, you know, that you get from a cool weather cocktail. This is the perfect go-to cocktail for fall and winter. Imagine these warm baking spice flavors, apple, scotch, a nice bitter Amaro, all grounded by essentially a molasses flavored syrup. It's really, really nice. To make a flannel shirt cocktail, start with a bar spoon of Demerara gum syrup. Next, add one and three quarters ounce of blended scotch whiskey. Half an ounce of Amaro, Averna is recommended. One and a half ounces of apple cider, unsweetened. Quarter ounce of fresh lemon juice. Half a bar spoon of allspice dram and two dashes of aromatic bitters. Add ice and shake hard for 20 seconds. Strain into a chilled rocks glass filled with ice and garnish with an orange twist. Stay warm in your cozy flannel shirt. Number seven on our list is a venerable classic. This one comes to us courtesy of New Orleans, one of the great cocktail cities in the whole world. This is the Sazerac. A Sazerac is a spirit forward cocktail that uses brandy and rye split base. And here Demerara shines because Peixos bitters and absinthe, which are also both used, are very high hitting aromatic flavors and that Demerara sugar character, that burnt molasses flavor, really grounds those sort of high hitting notes. This is a really nice way to give richness to a Sazerac and to bring a slight twist to an otherwise perfect cocktail. To make the perfect Sazerac, add a quarter ounce of Demerara gum syrup to your mixing glass. Next, add an ounce of rye whiskey, an ounce of brandy, and three dashes of Peixos bitters. Add ice and stir for 20 seconds. Rinse a chilled rocks glass with a bar spoon of absinthe and strain your mixture into the glass. Garnish with an expressed lemon peel. This is the best version of a true classic, the Sazerac. Cheers. Next up, number six on our list, another venerable classic, another cocktail that uses brandy. This time we're working with the sidecar. The sidecar really benefits from Demerara sugar. It's like the John Paul Jones of ingredients in this cocktail, it's sitting there, plucking away at the base notes while all of these other ingredients sort of ride on top of it. It's a really nice backbone to a very classic cocktail and we think it's an improvement on the original. To make the classic sidecar, add a bar spoon of Demerara gum syrup to your shaker tin. Next, add one and a half ounces of brandy, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, and three quarters of an ounce of orange liqueur. We recommend a brandy base. Add ice and shake hard for 10 seconds. Strain into a chilled coupe and garnish with a lemon peel and a sugared rim. Cheers to the sidecar. We've reached my favorite part on any list like this. Here at the number five spot is our first tiki cocktail. Demerara shines in tiki applications because burnt sugar, molasses, those dark toffee caramel flavors go perfectly with rum. They also surprisingly really balance out those high hitting fruit flavors that you often find in tiki cocktails. Acid, fruit, stone fruit, all of these different components really benefit from that base layer that is provided by Demerara sugar. The Golden Gun is no different. It has apricot, grapefruit, and two types of rum, all of which benefit greatly from a companion and a sweetener like Demerara. To make the Golden Gun, 
add half an ounce of Demerara gum syrup to your shaker tin. Next, add an ounce of light rum, the funkier the better, an ounce of aged rum, half an ounce of apricot liqueur, half an ounce of grapefruit juice, and three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. Add ice and shake for 10 seconds. Strain over ice into a highball glass and garnish with a grapefruit wedge and a mint sprig. Sit back and enjoy this delicious tiki cocktail. Here at number four on our list, a riff on the espresso martini, this is the Cafe Racer. This cocktail has bourbon, creme de cacao, and cold brew coffee. This is the darker side of Demerara. So we've seen it work wonders in sour cocktails like a sidecar or even a tiki cocktail like the Golden Gun. In this drink, it is bringing some dark, almost sultry flavors to what is probably a cold weather cocktail, but could also be used as a dessert cocktail after a rich meal. Think steakhouse dessert cocktail. This cafe racer cocktail is a great nightcap and it's a wonderful cold weather cocktail. To make a cafe racer, start by adding half an ounce of Demerara gum syrup to your mixing glass. Next, add two ounces of your favorite bourbon, an ounce of cold brew coffee, and a quarter ounce of creme de cacao. Add ice and stir for 20 seconds. Strain into a chilled rocks glass and garnish with an expressed orange peel. Use this nightcap to race straight to bed. Cheers. Bronze medal winner, our number three cocktail, comes to us courtesy of our friend Dustin Pop over at Elusive Moose Drinks. If you haven't checked out his handle, it's great cocktail content. The blue suede shoes. Thank you. Thank you very much. What we've essentially got here is a whiskey sour, lemon juice, whiskey, and sugar. But in this instance, we're combining honey syrup with Demerara, which gives a lot more richness, flavor, complexity than your typical simple syrup. This blueberry honey Demerara combination with the lemon juice and bourbon is just a very nice balanced cocktail. It's perfect in cool weather months, but here in Texas, I could sip these all year. To make the blue suede shoes, add a bar spoon of Demerara gum syrup to your shaker tin. Next, add half an ounce of honey syrup and muddle three to four blueberries about five or 10 seconds until you form a nice syrup. Next, add two ounces of bourbon, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, add ice and shake for 10 seconds. Double strain into a rocks glass filled with ice and top with club soda. Garnish with a lemon wheel and blueberries. Enjoy this blue suede shoes. Thank you very much. Here we are at number two on our list, the silver medal winner, the second best Demerara cocktail. This is the Aku Aku. These high hitting fruit flavors like tropical fruits and citrus combined with aged rum, that caramelized toffee flavor and Demerara, the push pull that goes on between these kinds of ingredients is magical. It is something that truly cannot be explained until you've had something like an Aku Aku. This cocktail is another perfect example of that relationship between these dark, deep caramelized flavors and these high hitting fruit flavors. It's a wonderful combination and it's a match made in heaven. To make the Aku Aku, Start by adding half an ounce of Demerara gum syrup to your shaker tin. Next, add an ounce and a half of aged rum, an ounce of pineapple juice, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, and half an ounce of peach liqueur. Add ice and shake hard for 20 seconds. Strain into a chilled cocktail glass and garnish with a fresh bouquet of mint. Cheers to the Aku Aku. Y'all have made it this far. Thanks for sticking around. This cocktail has all the components of a classic tiki drink. Y'all know me, I love tiki, and this one's got it all. It's got mint, it's got Demerara rum, it's got lime juice, and it's got the swizzle technique, which is really fun to do in a cocktail. This is the Queen's Park Swizzle. This cocktail was invented at the Queen's Park Hotel in Port of Spain, Trinidad, around the turn of the 20th century. It's a very old drink, and that mint and lime juice combination that's made so famous by cocktails like this, or the mojito, is such a nice, bright flavor combination that when combined with that dark, deep rum and the Demerara gum syrup, and then that swizzle technique, where you're almost making a beautiful alcoholic snow cone or slushy, it's just a a beautiful drink and it really highlights the rustic character of Demerara sugar. I promise if you go home and make a Queen's Park Swizzle, you're gonna love the way it tastes and you're gonna have a damn good time making it too. To make a Queen's Park Swizzle, add half an ounce of Demerara gum syrup straight to your highball glass. Next, add five to eight fresh mint leaves and muddle for five or 10 seconds. Now add two ounces of Demerara rum or aged rum if you don't have Demerara and three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. Fill your glass with crushed ice. Now comes the fun part. Take a swizzle stick and swizzle for about 15 seconds to chill and dilute your cocktail. Refill your glass with crushed ice and add four to six dashes of aromatic bitters on top. Garnish with a mint sprig and enjoy the number one Demerara cocktail, the Queen's Park Swizzle. Wow, y'all, what an adventure. We just traveled through space and time enjoying eight of the best, no, 
the eight best Demerara cocktails you can try. Go home, make these yourself. Tell us down below in the comment section, did you like them? Did you hate them? Did we miss out on any? Let us know. Make sure you like and subscribe for great cocktail content like this. Cheers.